Hey, welcome to my channel, and today we're going to be making an absolutely delicious green bean casserole. So we're in the holidays, you already know you got to get those side dishes. Green bean casserole is going to have you in the game. So we're going to go ahead and get this prepared. Now, what we got is we got a couple of tablespoons of butter, and we're going to get this in our Dutch oven. And we're going to let that melt as we're going to introduce our veggies, right? So we got some onion, and that's half an onion, and then we got two stalks of celery. So we're going to let this butter melt, and we're going to let this thing do what it do. We want to make sure that these onions and celery are soft because really what we're going to be doing is making like a cream of celery soup. Now we're going to let these, like I said, soften up and we'll see y'all guys in a little bit. Now those are looking pretty good right there. Nice and soft. You can see them, you know, they're rendered down a little bit. Now what we're going to do, we're going to add some minced garlic in there. And we're going to let this become fragrant. And then next what we want to do is we got some flour about a couple of tablespoons and what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix this in and we're gonna cook this flour taste out and then we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients so we're gonna let this cook you know for a couple minutes and let that flour taste get out now when that garlic becomes all fragrant and you got your house smelling all good and you're waking up your people because you're probably cooking this early in the morning we're gonna add a little bit of chicken stock chicken broth and this is gonna be about a cup. And then what we're gonna do, while we got that in there, we're gonna add a little bit of seasonings. So I'm gonna start off with some, some dill. And then you're gonna do this to your taste, right? So I got a little bit of dill. And then I'm going in with some parsley. And then I'm going in with some onion powder. And then I'm gonna hit it with some garlic powder. And then next, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use a little bit of Creole seasoning. Just a dash of that. And then we're going to get this mixed in. And we're going to let this, you know, thicken up just a little bit. And then we're going to come right back. All right, fam. So you already see right here, you got a nice little thick consistency. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add some half and half, right? So we're going to add about two cups of half and half. And we're going to get this mixed into this mixture. And then we're going to bring this back up to like a soft boil. And we're going to let this simmer. Now, as you see right here, now you got you some cream of celery soup. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add me a secret ingredient. Here it is right here. We got that Katiha cheese. And like I said, this is like Parmesan. So we're going to add just a little bit to the soup. And then we're going to get this mixed in. And we're going to reduce this heat. And then we're off to making some absolutely delicious green bean casserole. I want to always remember, just remember it tastes as you go, then salt and pepper to taste. You can always season up, but you can't go back and season down, right? You know, I'm not hitting it with too much salt because that, you know, that Creole seasoning had enough salt in it, but I'm going to hit it with some pepper. So we're going to hit it with that pepper, and then we're going to give it a mix, and then we're going to remove it from this heat. And we in the game. So we're going to let this cool down a little bit and we're going to prepare the rest of these ingredients and we're going to come back and see y'all in a little bit. Fam, now you seen how easy that was to make that cream of celery soup. Now what we got to do is we got to get this thing in this dish and get it prepared. So we got our green beans. This is three cans of green beans and these are tender, you know, already tender and soft. You can use, you know, fresh green beans if you like, but you got to cook them right now. What we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of these French onions. Not a lot because we're going to use some for the topping. Right. Just like so. Oh, this fam. Here we go. Look at that right there. That is your cream of celery soup. So let me start this up a little bit because it's been cooling. But look at that. You see that, that nice consistency right there. 
and you can't get that from the can and it smells absolutely delicious and i wish you guys could definitely be here to smell it but i'm gonna go ahead and get me another taste because it's absolutely fantastic mm, and that's good that is good now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this over our green beans like so actually we're gonna add all of it let me stop playing with y'all this is a 13 by 9 pan and then we're just gonna get all this incorporated in with those onion straws And if you don't want that much green beans, you can definitely, you know, take it down a notch and just add two cans if you like. And you know I wasn't gonna leave y'all like that because you already know what I say, no sauce left behind. We don't waste nothing in this kitchen, right? All that sauce that's still left on in this Dutch oven. There we go right there. In that pan. It's gonna be absolutely fantastic. Now what you want to make sure that you do, you want to make sure that you do flatten this top off on this green bean casserole because you want to have everything cooking nice and even. So you don't want to have one side half done, one side done. So you want all of it done, right? We're going to top this off with that Katija cheese. And lastly, what we're going to do is we're going to add our fried onions and then I'm gonna take me a bite of this right here and that's the beauty about being the cook in the kitchen you get to nibble you get to dab you get to taste and you get to see how it's coming out now what we're gonna do is we just gonna make sure this is evenly distributed Cross that pan and this is gonna be fantastic now we're gonna put this in the oven 350 degrees we're gonna take this about 30 minutes and we're gonna let this bake up all right fam so we got that green bean casserole out of the stove it's been going for 30 minutes so we let it cool for about you know five minutes or so I'm kind of impatient but let's go ahead down and see it now you got these crispy onion scrawls right there and then underneath you got that katiha cheese and then you already know the rest of the ingredients right there now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we gotta get us a little scoop of this and look at that right there and of course so I'm up to to you guys so y'all can see it and it's still hot and look at that right there doesn't that look absolutely amazing hey fam there we have it you got your absolutely delicious green bean casserole I gotta give me some of those green beans along with those crispy onion scrolls and it's piping hot, so you always gotta make sure you don't burn yourself. Mm. And that's absolutely amazing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give me another bite of this. Cheers. Mm. And that's good right there. If you're new to this channel and you like this content, Go ahead, smash that like button. And for the people that's been rolling me for a while, hashtag focus fam. I appreciate you. And we'll see you guys on the next recipe. And you already know I got to roll out.